But if you close your eyes Hello awesome people! Welcome to Tryout Tuesday and welcome to a new game on the channel called Subnautica. Now, this game has been in early access for a long while and a few, I think a few weeks ago, it went to full release, which means that it's now fully released, it's fleshed out, everything that the developers wanted to be in there is in there. Well, actually, everyone that, that sort of, they, they, with the full release, they state that the game is now finished for a full release. They just keep updating it, it's not that they uh, they are sort of done with it. Um, but is that, it has been a very cool game. So the idea is that you crash land on a planet which is f covered in ocean. And I really like ocean games, and I really like discovering shit, so this is gonna be a cool game. It's well, it's something totally different from what I normally play, but hey, that's where Tryout Tuesday sort of comes into play. Uh, I wanna see things that you guys might like too, and I wanna play some other games too, uh, only than Civ and Airport CEO. Those are very fun, but sometimes it's really cool to do something else. And Subnautica is definitely something else. First off, the game looks beautiful. Uh, and second off, it has a cool story, it has a cool sort of element of sort of immersion in there, which is really cool. And I hope you guys like it. So if you guys like this and want to see more of Subnautica, then please leave a like and a comment stating that you want to see more. Um, likes are fine, but comments also say a lot about things that I should could improve for this series and stuff like that. But without further ado, let's start playing the game. Now, let's start with playing. I have uh, dabbled a little bit in this. Uh, I will start a new game for this, of course, uh, and we have some choices. So we could be creative, which um, disables the story and death and all the other st things, and that's not cool. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't like that. Um, I, I get that this this might be for testing purposes or things like that, or, or just a sort of a small tutorial. Play it without dying, play it without having oxygen and stuff like that. Um, but this is not cool. So, hardcore? Uh, no. I'm not that great at the game yet, and I haven't fully played it yet, so I don't know what happens for uh, most of the time. Uh, so we have to choose between survival and freedom. Now, survival means uh, it's basically the same thing, uh, like I said here, like survival, like survival, but without hunger or thirst. So if you have hunger and thirst on, you have a little meter here that will say, uh, okay, you know what, at some point you have like a level and you're getting thirsty, you're getting hungry, and if you don't care for that, you're gonna die. Um, but what's, and in the beginning that's very cool. Don't get me wrong. In the beginning, it's cool. You have to uh, to f uh, get some fish from the ocean where you dive in. You have to get some water, and uh, you have to sort of tend for yourself, and that's very cool. But once you're a bit further on progressing through the story, it's getting very annoying in my eyes. So we're gonna go for freedom right now because I want to show you guys what the actual game does, and I will see you back when we're in the game. Okay, here we are. So we're gonna start the story. Like I said, we're gonna crash land on the planet, and here we go. And there we go. Big explosion. Oh gosh, and it starts, and it starts, okay. Uh... Oh! Well, end of the game, we do- <laughs> No. Uh, okay, so a bit of a rough start for us. Um, like I, we, I already explained, we crash land on this planet. Um, and we have to fight tent to ourselves right now. We are completely alone. And now we have uh, the controls. So I'm kind of I'm looking around with my mouse and just the normal sort of stuff. Uh, we can pick up this fire extinguisher, and that's our first idea. So we need to fi uh, clear this fire in our uh, sort of escape pod or whatever it's called. And we did what we need to do. Now, what's this? <laughs> oh, that reminds me of Fallout. That kind of the, the humorous thing. Head trauma. This is considered a nocturnal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. 
Good luck. Okay, so this is our PDA. We can our, see our inventory here. So as you can see, we have only one the fire extinguisher. Uh, we can have blueprints. This is all stuff we can uh, build later on. Uh, and uh, this is gonna. This is not all. This, this is not all that you can buy. Uh, that you can build. You can always uh, later on. You will get new blueprints to build. Uh, we have the beacon manager, um, which I'm gonna set this to uh, yellow. This is what you will see when you're out swimming in the ocean or exploring this these are the beacons that you can sort of find your way back into the world we have a photo manager which is not that important we have this where we can sort of track back our messages a voice lock and we have data bank which will tell us all what we need to know uh but we're not gonna really go into there i'm gonna explain it to you guys uh as we go so excellent we're not gonna have, to have this in our hands so we survived but we need to make a repair tool, as you can see here. Use repair tool. We need to make sure that this escape pod will be better. So we can open this. We have a math kit. Awesome. So that means we now have a first aid kit, which we can oops, which which we can eat um, or eat, <laughs> which we can use. Uh, we also have some uh, flares and some water and some nutrients blocks in here. But as we are not playing with food and hunger, um, we're just gonna leave them over there. We have a fabricator, which uh, means we can build stuff. So we can choose categories, and we can choose stuff. Uh, so, for instance, if we want to make a uh, let us see, let's see, if we if we want to make a copper wire, we need two copper ores, and that's that. That's all the stuff you will get from um, from scavenging the world, and uh, you will you can see that we have uh, also equipment and some other stuff for here for for our, for our pe uh, people, and you you can see that we can actually have some vehicles and that's going to be one of our main objectives here but for now let's climb the ladder so that's our crash landed ship this is our escape pod and as you can see there's a lot of ocean <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of ocean. Now, there's a lot of uh, different biomes. Let's just jump in here. And as you can see, this game is beautiful. I love it. I love it to bits. Let's get a little bit closer to some of these things. Uh, so you can see this game is uh, it actually looks so stunning. Uh, I love it. Uh, and this is sort of the small tutorial part. I've decided to not cut anything out. Is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. So, uh, I decided to not cut anything out because... Uh, oh, we need to swim through the surface, otherwise we're gonna die. Yeah, so in the left corner, left down corner, you can see our heart, uh, which is of course our HP, which is our life. If it depletes down to zero, we are dead. Um, and we have our O2, so if we dive down, you can see that the O2 goes down and... Uh, yeah, if we, we're gonna die if we are not um, up there uh, and to retrieve our O2. Uh, we can also get, go into the escape pod or later in certain things to get get our O2 back. Um, but for now, we are just sort of uh, sort of exploring this new world that we have now before us. Um, but that's not gonna be very long because we need to start tracking. We need to start surviving. So, in order to start surviving, we need a few things. Uh, we picked up a copper ore, but let's make a plan here. Uh, we need some personal things. So we need a, a standard O2 tank, which will improve our O2, um, which is way better. So we need free titanium. That's one. We need silicone rubber, uh, which I know where to find. Well, it's, at least I know how to make this. I will show this to you. So if we want to make silicone rubber, then we need to creep fine seed clusters. Now remember, we are on an alien world, so if you, this is the first time you're watching Subnautica, this is probably not going to make any sense to you whatsoever. Um, we also need a scanner, and we can make a battery, because we picked up a copper ore, and a uh, copper ore is needed, and we need two acid mushrooms. And we know where these are, because they're right underneath us. So let's move out from here, and let's start collecting some stuff, so we can actually get uh, better. So... As you can see, we also have a uh, downwards exit, <laughs> and these are the uh, the purple sort of acid mushrooms that we I was talking about. So we pick up two. We have a couple, so we can now make a battery. Now the other thing that we needed for that was uh, I think titanium. Now titanium it can be found in the small rocks that I 
uh, got the copper ore from, but you can also pick up this metal salvage, and we can make some titanium from that. So I will show you that right away. This is an awesome game. I really like this. <laughs> so let's start cracking up some stuff. So we can make four titanium out of one metal salvage. So let's do that. And that's our fabricator at work. And let's do it again because we don't have anything worth to build from metal salvage. I think I don't think you can't can build anything from metal salvage. So, and we can now make a battery. And uh, oh, we have a new blueprint, which is a power cell. We don't need it right now, so uh, we can make uh, a scanner, which is awesome, and we can make a better O2 tank, which we're definitely gonna buy or buy make. Now uh, we also need a repair tool, like I was saying. So a repair tool, we have the titanium. We need silicone rubber. Um, we can make how many silicone rubber from? We will make two from one of those seed clusters, and we need two for fins. And we need one for the repair tool. So we need three silicone seed, uh, blah, 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 creep fine seed clusters, and we need one case sulfur. Okay, I know where to find these things. Like I said, I have played, played this in the early access, so I know a few things, uh, but this is gonna, I'm gonna run out of information quite quickly, and then I gotta need your guys' help, or uh, we need to find some, uh, some other stuff. So what was I saying? Oh, yeah, creep fine clusters. Um, as I was saying, I know where these things are. I can't find it. Uh, <laughs> good job, Hibbon. Where is it? Where, okay, there it is. There it is. Okay. We are very slow. Uh, but we're going to upgrade our flippers uh, in just a sec. So we can be swim a little bit faster. And we're going to get some trans uh, transportation soon. So these things are called creep finds. And this is dangerous because this is another biome. Uh, and there are some sort of, uh, let's let's call it some sort of barracudas here, or whatever, those things, those things. You're gonna watch out for them, because they're gonna snap at you. Oh, we can actually scan, yeah. We should scan stuff, so we can get to learn about the uh, environment. Whoa, yeah, that, that's it, that's it, he's gonna go for us. Okay, that was a mistake. Uh, <laughs> so, point in case, don't bother those guys. They're not really good for your health. Um, so, let's just take what we need. And the game hang up a little bit. So let's pick one, two, and three. And now go up to the surface. Because I don't want to die. So if you hold space, you just automatically go up. Uh, where is our life pod? Okay, let's go back. Well, that was an adventure. Those things are called stalkers, and they're very annoying if you get too close, uh, and especially for now. If we get a little bit further into the game, they're not going to be a threat anymore, and we can even probably kill them um, quite easily. But for now, they're going to be a threat. Um, so the only thing we need now is cave salt. Well, actually, what we could do is uh, we could check. Yeah, so we have the scanner. We have, oh, we have four. Well, okay. Well, let's just take one extra then. Just to be on the safe side, I guess. Uh, so we need cave sulfur. Now, cave sulfur, you can find it in, well, caves. <laughs> um, and there should be a cave around here somewhere, but it's getting night. It's going to be very, very dark. Um, which I hope you guys can see. Okay, let's just start scanning a little bit. So I want to scan. Yeah, well, actually, it doesn't really matter. Um, leave a comment if you want me to scan stuff. So to get a little bit more information, we can do that, but it's not entirely needed for the world. This is a cave. Well, it's sort of, I heard something. Yeah, I heard something. That that doesn't look good. I heard a weird noise. Yeah, I think that we can find some cave sulfur in here. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, so those... Blow up. Okay. It, he was over here? No. Where was it? So those have a sort of a, a planned pot. And uh, they will come at you if you come too close. And um, now we need to find that sort of thing where he lived. Um, 
this is not very safe. I don't feel safe in there at night. Um, where is this thing? Because in there, sort of the spot, that little fish that came um, sort of jaunting at us, and uh, detecting increased local radiation levels. Okay, so we got some radiation from the ship, so we should go back a little bit. We, got, we don't want to get hurt from the radiation. Ah, it's because it's night. I can't. In this game, every time it gets to night, I can't remember where I am, which is very bad, of course. I know that the. Okay. There should be a freaking... There should be... A, a cave somewhere around here where we can get some of the things that I wanted. Is this, is this it? Probably not. We have some mushrooms over here. So. Oh, 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 yeah. That, that was the plan that I was talking about. Let's get out of here. But, ah! Okay. I was uh, stuck. <laughs> Uh, but we have the plan, so we found the cave solver. Okay, awesome. Let's get back to our. We almost died. Let's get back. Let's get back to the safety of our pot. I think you guys can still see it, right? At night, it's it's pretty dark. It gets pretty dark. Um, but what we are gonna do is we're gonna eat our first aid kit, so that brings us up to seventy six. And we're gonna fabricate some stuff. We're gonna fabricate free silicone rubber. Uh. Wait, so we had we picked up too much in the end, so let's make it let's make some lubricant too, because I know that we're gonna need that in the future. And that we make that of the same stuff that we make silicone rubber of. Uh, so we don't need a battery. Or part or whatever. What was it? A battery? A power cell. Oh, we need silicone rubber for a power cell. Okay. Um, so that is for later on. We can make some better fins, let's do that. So we will be swimming a little bit faster. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment approved. Yeah, okay. Using locally available materials. For your safety, this And we make a repair tool. Cool. And we make a survival knife. Awesome. Now were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Braxis. Park. Let's open a storage container. Yeah, yeah, just extension. keep talking. Um, so we don't need this because we don't use uh, food in here. So we just put this in. Uh, this is going to be number one. Scanner number two. Repair tool number four. That's going to be great. Let's get, get our repair tool. Don't touch it, you fool. It's electric. Oh, we have a, we have a new one. So this keeps making new uh, med kits, which is very cool. We need to repair stuff here, otherwise our escape pod will die and we don't have any safe haven to go to. And there we go. So we fixed our escape pod. Status? Okay. Secondary systems online. Radio communication outgoing, incoming, online. Offline. Oh, oh, we, oh, that's offline. Oh, we can fix that. Uh, Bibbity bobberty boop, it's fixed. You should update that. Well, radio online, yeah. So, floating devices, flotation devices, sorry, deployed. Well, hull integrity, okay, environment, uncharted ocean planet 4546b, oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, waterborne bacteria levels high. Yeah, okay. Um, so, ooh, we have a radio message. Operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. <laughs> Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Okay, sure. So survival, uh, or sorry, rescue is not coming very fast. That's uh, a given right now. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna use that med kit because we're gonna get free ones here later on. As you can see, there's a percentage meter. If that hits a hundred, you can eat. Uh, you can open it up and get a free first aid kit again. Um, but as you can see now in our adventure, we have better fins and we have the better equipment that we took. So now the next step would be for us to actually start exploring. We need to scan a lot of stuff to find um, better items to build. And we also want to get a better O2 tank. So we also want glass, more titanium and silver ore. But that will be for a, uh, that will be a while right now. So what I'm going to do... Is I'm gonna exit this escape pod and I'm gonna go all the way down here. 
on the bottom underneath the escape pod. And I'm going to put these guys out there because we don't need them. We can just leave them there. Um, I don't want them to take up any storage spots right now. So, we need to go exploring. Uh, which way do we want to go? We want to go this way. I guess. Is it this way? I'm not sure. Let's just go. Get our scanner up and let's scan everything. 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 We're going to scan you. What are you? You are a gasopop. Okay. So, ooh. What are you doing? You're like a... You're like a re re really, really weird dolphin. Oh, wow. There's... Oh! There's stuff coming out of your butt, dude. Okay. <laughs> Let's leave you alone for now. Okay, that's, that's just plants. I don't care for plants. I care for wildlife and I care for stuff that we need to find, so... Blueprints, because we also need to scan those. Uh, there's another one of those stalkers I don't like. Okay, we need to go up. We can't go up that fast. It's faster if we don't have a scanner in our hand, apparently. The pod is over there. I think we... I think we need to go somewhere else. Uh, so this is a new biome. Uh, I don't know if there's any blueprints in here. So we could check that. Well, it's not new, but it's, it's an, another biome from our starting area. Our starting area is not very hostile, so... As it should be. Oh, we have, uh, that's right, we have our knife. Woohoo. We're a real sword, a sword fighter right now. And we can cut this creep fine. And this means that we can get some other stuff from it. So let's take that, uh, take that. Oh, these are also very handy. These will bubble us. Let's, uh, scan you. I know I just said I don't care for things. Okay, so they will give out air bubbles. And we will get O2 back from them. Which is amazing. So I hope I can find some blueprints for you guys because that's sort of what I wanted. Uh, that's sort of what I wanted to achieve in this episode. To sort of start up the game, explain a lot of stuff and then find some blueprints to show you guys how we sort of evolve further on. Um, because that's sort of the idea of the game. Oh, there are some big, uh, big things over here. So, we should go maybe back a little bit. I know that there are some blueprints in the vicinity of our escape pod. Some easy ones. So, but where? <laughs> that's, the, that's the problem. We need to find some wreckages. Mo they're mostly around wreckages, so. Let's see if we can find some of that stuff. There's a there's a big hole here. Let's go up for a little kind of breath of air. Okay, we have some more of uh, that biome. Could you please leave me alone? I'm not sure if they could harm. Okay, let's scan the limestone chunk. I think that way you can see in your uh, thing. Okay, that's a stalker. We need to watch out for that. Whoa! What am I scanning here? Stalker tooth. Oh wow! Uh, okay, we have a big uh, sort of gorge over here, which looks very scary right now because we don't have anything to defend ourselves with. We have a knife, but that won't really matter. Um, oh, I think that this this could be f uh, something. Yeah. Oh, sea glide fragment. So that's a, sort of a sea scooter or whatever you want to call it, um, which will help us move faster um, underwater. So we're definitely, that's definitely one of the things that we want to build. So we have some creature axe over here, I guess. Yeah, we don't need them right now. Metal salvage, we could scan it. We could also pick it up. But, oh, we need to go. We need to go. Straight through the gasopods, the weird dolphins. Whew. It's really hard keeping to talking and exploring and explaining stuff and also watching your oxygen, apparently. So we took a, a look at that case. So if there's a blueprint over here, there should be more, right? There's a sea glide fragment over here. Let's go in here. Let's see. Okay. Oh, 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 another one. Yeah, we unlocked the... Ooh, there's probably more over here. Um, let's check this out a little bit. 
Ah! Okay. <laughs> Let's go away. They make the stupid noise. They scare me to shit every single time. I never see them before. Uh, well, I ne I've never seen them before they come at me. Well, let's let's pick up the cave solver, maybe? Yeah. I don't know if we need it for anything, but let's just take it. Uh, another seek light. So, okay, we already have the seek light, but I'll show you what happens if we scan it. Uh, uh, otherwise, we just get titanium from it. So, it's another way of getting some titanium. If oh, we need to go upstairs. Upstairs to above the sea. <laughs> And get our air back. Yeah, I can't wait till we get a better air tank. Um, so this is some wreckage. We need to take a look at this. Uh, what can we find here? Oh, we find a counter. Okay, well, this is not very important, but we might as well scan it. Uh, this is something you can later build. You can later build bases. And uh, you actually should do that. So let's see. Can we find some more stuff that we want to scan? We also need to watch our back because there has been some... Uh, Hostile things going on here. Okay, this is a thing we can scan. A graph trap. I'm not sure what it does. So we have one of two. We need one more. What's inside here? Nothing. This is locked up. What's this? It's a beacon fragment. So we're finding a lot of cool stuff right now. What's this? We can't scan it. Okay. I think we're good for now. We have found a lot of cool blueprints. And we have the most important blueprint of all early game. In my opinion, uh, at least, which is the sea glide. Which will make our life way easier. Well, let's ignore these guys a little bit. I don't really like them. Those uh, gaso pots. Please go away. Jeez. So, yeah, while we're swimming back, this is going to be the end of the episode. So, we. Uh, I hope you guys like it. I, I really love Subnautica, it looks amazing. And uh, let's go up and down. And then get into our thing. Yeah, I will show you the sea glide. The sea glide is... This little thing. We need a lot of for it to work. And that's that's why we needed the lubricant. So that's why I, I sort of made it beforehand. Planning is really important <laughs> in this game. We can make some fire mesh too, which is very awesome. Uh, we don't care about that. Let's go back to our inventory. Okay. We are safe. This has been a good run. A good first run. A good first sort of meeting with this game. I hope you guys like the game. I love it. And I hope I hope you guys want to see more of it. Because it's it's just such a damn beautiful game. I mean, it, let's just take another look here. It looks amazing, right? It looks so cool. And I love all of the strange little fish and all, all that stuff. But before we drown, I need to do my outro. So... If you liked the video, please leave a like and or a comment. If you haven't, please consider subscribing to my channel, which really helps the channel out and you will become part of the awesome people army, uh, which is our community, which is awesome. And as always, I've been Hippon, you've been yourself. Thanks for being awesome. Thanks for watching.